WGSMDB, the Going Solo Network presents with Transformational Life Coach. Hello and welcome to the Manifest Your Idea and Life show. My name's Angela Kane and I'm your host along with my dear friend and colleague Mary Tudor. You're listening to WGSMDB, Going Solo Network. Both Mary and I are transformational life coaches, and this show is all about how to consciously manifest your ideal life. And over the coming weeks, we'll be exploring all the ways in which we sabotage our happiness and get in our own way, and how we can move past that into consciously creating what we want instead of what we don't want. And coming up today, we're going to continue discussing how we do that and today's topic is going to be challenges because I think both Mary and I have had our fair (laughs) share of challenges over the last few weeks and we thought it might be useful to discuss them today with our listeners to see if some of the things that we've done or are doing might help you with the challenges in your own life. But before we get into that conversation, let's just say hello to Mary. Are you there, Mary? Hi, Angela, and everybody who's listening today. Great to be back with you again. We were talking about, we were going to talk about challenges this morning. So, (laughs) goodness me, I think over the last few weeks, you and I have had more than our fair share, haven't we? Well, we have. And I think for me, Angela, um, one of the big shifts in awareness for me was moving from I don't like this challenge I don't want this challenge in my life what's this challenge doing here so Mm. shifting from that kind of my disgruntled attitude my attitude Mm. towards myself of oh for goodness sake how come I manifested this surely I'm beyond this sort of thing now yeah shifting that mindset and therefore that vibration towards something much more helpful. And where I ended up um, largely for myself, and be great to share this and see um, if there's any parallels for you, Angela, is I found that from the point that I had a level of acceptance of what was happening was just happening. And how I responded to what was happening was key to me being able to deal with it, I think that was just such a big door for me to open. I know it in theory, but doing it in practice when everything's hitting the fan is a different matter. And so I found that from the point that I started to take a deep breath and say, Mary, life doesn't happen to you, life happens for you. Mm. So first of all, start looking at what is happening And why might it be happening now? And Mm. at that point, I started to remember my one of my core values, which is to say, if something's come to my doorstep, it is because I am ready for it. It is because it is appropriate for me to actually move towards it, through it, and gain the life experience and learn from it. Mm. So for me, that big going into the cauldron and the melting pot of so much contrast coming forward at once and then going through the tunnel of shifting from seeing my old pattern would be to throw my hands up in horror Mm. and go, that's not fair, why is this happening, I haven't been manifesting this surely, or to maybe take the big stick and be unkind to myself and say, tut tut, you should know better Mary and shift into the compassion for yourself and shift into the understanding of it's here because my vibration has actually been raised to a level where this old stuff no longer sits comfortably. So it's Mm -hmm. kind of saying your vibration is now up here, Mary. You need to close the gap. And to close the gap, you've got to say goodbye to those old patterns. So for me, it was about consciously bringing in the the older patterns of behavior and transforming and transmuting those with consciousness in order mm. to come out the other side and say, right, now you can move forward because you're not walking around 
carrying all those old bits of your personality, Mary, that you think you've got rid of, but they're actually still there yeah. saying, you who we want one last wave goodbye to. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I know I've kind of um, shared quite a bit there, Angela, but I just wanted to say that for me was a big starting point. Yeah, huge, Mary. Mm. And it's, it's virtually identical, similar things to what's been happening it's for fun. me as well. Mm. Even so much as, you know, I've recently been on holiday to beautiful yeah. Lake Garda in the Italian lakes. Absolutely mm. one of the most, it's got to be one of the most stunning places in the world, mm. I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. And the weather was so hot <laughs> and it was absolutely boiling and even the locals were struggling with it. And mm. so my husband and I really struggled with, with the weather. And for the, so for the first two or three days, we didn't really make any use of the, of the scenery. We just sat on our balcony and, and, and looked at the lake and mm. thought how beautiful. But we didn't really go out and about as we always do on holiday exploring. Mm. And as, as the days, you know, the first day was over the second, mm. I could feel myself getting anxious and thinking, what are you doing? You are here to see this place. You need to be going out and, view, you know, looking at places. And then yeah. when we did try and go out, we were so hot and couldn't wait to get back to the hotel for the cool, you know, at the air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one night in the restaurant and Paul said I turned into, you know, some sort of gremlin, you know, and I was like <laughs> cross with the waitress because she kept moving the plates before I finished. And, and it was like everything was, you know, it was... Yeah. We went, had dinner outside and it was too hot. We had to come back in and it was just like everything was irritating me. Mm. And I went to bed that night and I thought, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't recognize this person, you know, that's come on holiday Wonderful. to, Wonderful. to uh, Lake Garda. And mm. the next morning I thought, I'm not having another day like that. Mm. And so I did some quite a, a lengthy meditation that morning. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought, right, okay, yes, it's boiling hot, but look, mm. at, look at this scenery, look at the beauty here. Mm. How fortunate am I that I've been able mm. to come here? And yes, it's hot, but I'm, I can cope with the heat. Mm. My body's adjusting, and mm. so my inner dialogue started to change. Fabulous, fabulous, and that for me is, it's lovely. I'm smiling here because. One of the phrases that has come up for me in the last week is to say, choose to change. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you've described there. You were in a situation where it all hit the fan. Your old yeah. behaviors yeah. came right out. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you had the consciousness, you had the awareness to actually say, okay, I can either allow that old behavior pattern to dominate yeah. and ruin our holiday. Yeah. Which and it say, would have done well, some years ago. Me. Yeah. Exactly. That's just me. You'll have to like it or lump it. Yeah. Or you could say a more empowering thing is to say, just choose to change. Mm. And you had the foresight then to sit quietly and go into meditation. Yeah. And I remember one day for me last week where I didn't have the ability to take myself to a quiet place. Mm. and to go into meditation and to mm. go inwards and ask for support. So what I ended up doing was in my head, I just kept rolling the phrase, I choose to change, I choose to change, I choose to change, mm. while all the stuff was going on in front of me. And it made such a difference because yeah. I was just putting out to the universe to say, I want to make a shift. Please help me right here, right now. And it happened. Mm -hmm. which is what happened for you. You did the meditation. You said, I yeah. need help and support. I yeah. want to change. Yeah. Very uncomfortable, but very empowering experiences, Angela. Absolutely. And, you know, it made me realize, because I think, you know, for me, Mary, sometimes I'm so absorbed in my work mm -hmm. and it's all I think about. It's all I do. Obviously, I'm, you know, at certain at weekends and things, I make sure. time for the family. But I get so absorbed in it that sometimes I forget that I'm a body. Yeah. And I know that sounds crazy, but, mm. you know, and it, it was like a, 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 a tap on the shoulder saying, mm. hey, you know, don't forget that you are mm. 
a physical being mm. as well you mm. are in a body you mm. do have to deal with what's going on in the physical reality mm. because mm. even though you know on a deeper level we know that quantum physicists say it's all a holograph and you know mm. we, we perceive everything what we perceive and, and we're multi-dimensional and all of that and I do mm. believe all of that but we also are living very very real lives in the physical mm universe on the physical plane mm. and so we also have to take care of our bodies as well and and yeah. you know acknowledge the fact that we are human mm. Mm. and it's funny Mary because over the last couple of weeks it's like saying you always teach what you need to learn yes <laughs> and it's like a few weeks ago as you know I started mm. teaching a, a mindfulness meditation class mm. and so of course these ladies um, don't know anything about me, don't know anything about my work, so it's like mm. taken me right back to a very, yeah. very basic level. Mm. And, you know, and uh, for, for months and months and months, or, you know, or any spare moment I'm listening to stuff about quantum physics and particles mm. and atoms and all this stuff. Mm. And then it's taken me right back to mm. basics. And so because I'm teaching it, I'm thinking, oh, I need to re-listen to things about that, you know. Mm. And I've been, mm. I've been re-listening to things, you know, like the wonderful Wayne Dyer and, mm. you know, and his so mm. profound wisdom. But he, it's yeah. so basic that yes. anybody would understand it. Mm. Yeah, it's so, so basic. And my sense is that you've, you've touched on so much there, Angela, but my sense is that we are being reminded mm. that we can only work at these deeper levels if we actually acknowledge our physical forms, our humanness, yes. because we are spirit into matter. Yeah. We are all this manifestation is all about saying bringing in the light because everything is about energy yeah. um, everything is in particle before it comes into physical form mm. and unless we have our bodies we can't play these games no so it is very much about blending and mm. then living the whole human spirit into matter experience yeah um quite exciting stuff in a way when we kind of peel away and we realize that the the um, challenges in inverted commas that are coming to us are simply stages that we need to go through either yeah. to as you say remind us to say wh where's mm. the basic door that you need to come back through again because mm. it's not complex it is fundamentally um, simple mm. but we get so tied up in the complexities and surely it's got to be harder than this but actually, it's not. It's the simplicity of awareness, awareness, awareness. This is all about yeah. consciousness. How conscious yeah. are you when something happens? Are you behaving in automatic mode? Or yeah. are you behaving in conscious mode? Yeah. A very simple place to start. Mm. And to just keep watching yourself, as you say, with mindfulness. Mm. Just watch, observe, and go, that's interesting. Not, yes. I'm a dreadful person, I should yep. know better than this, I'm not yep. doing that, yeah? Or denying yep. behavior, what mm. we ca I call spiritual bypassing. Yeah. It's like, I'm a spiritual person. Absolutely. Yeah, this it's doesn't like, apply no to me, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like, no, we're all in this together. So when you start seeing that life in a way which is it more than just what's happening in front of you, how are you responding? Mm. Are you able to say, Ah, breathe in, breathe out. Now I choose to respond to what's happening to me with consciousness. Mm. And that, I think, is as tricky and as easy as it gets to start off with, Angela. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, Mary. And it's funny, isn't it, how the higher self or the universe mm. or God mm. or what, you know, whatever that, that super power is for you you know mm. how it always is there to remind us when we mm. when we're we're veering off in, in a direction because I think you know to be truly happy and successful and, and for everything to work while we're fortunate enough to be on this physical plane and in a physical body 
we need to, our lives need to be in balance. They do. They do. And I know that I was, ve- before that holiday, I was veering off so mm. much out of balance, mm. you know, and, and so much into the spiritual realm and, mm. and quantum particles and all of this, which mm. I absolutely love. Mm. But I was neglecting everything else around me. Mm. And so something had to remind me to say, hey, what, what are you doing? You know, mm. you, you have a family and you have a life and you have a, a body mm. that you're not taking care of. Hence the mm. fact that I've had a back injury since December that's mm. still not healed, you know, and I'm going through that process. But all these things are, you know, pain is a, a very a big reminder that you're in a physical body, isn't it, Mary? It's a very big one. A very big one. <laughs> And pain, you know, stuck energy. Yeah. It's stuck yeah. energy. It's what is the block. It asks us to go look at it. Yeah. And, you know, I'm the first to put up my hand and say pain is pain and that is a really tricky place to be in life. Mm. However, if everything is energetic, then pain is also yeah. a response to energy which is stuck and how can yes. we get back in the yeah. flow. And the easiest way that I always come back to, how do I get back in the flow, is to say, from the moment I shift into a conscious awareness. So whether that's, we call it mindfulness, whether it's something like a little mantra that says, hmm, I choose to change, Mm. whether it's something that just says, oh goodness, there's got to be something deeper than this here, let me search for it. It's that shifting from the day-to-day grind of same, yeah. same, 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 yeah. into, no, this is consciousness shift. Once I go into a level of consciousness, I can start to do the manifestations. I can start to bring good stuff back into my life. It's all there, Angela, in that mm. awareness, in this change mm. from, I think, blotting out and thinking that um, consciousness is all about just the lovely rosy stuff in life yeah. you know yeah. um, getting the big fat paycheck getting the, yeah. the holidays that you want in life having the relationships you want in life it's not all just about the rosy stuff it's about clearing mm. our inherent unhelpful patterns and blocks in order to get to that yeah amazing amazing because our you know our soul needs needs room to grow mary doesn't it and it does. it, and through these challenges and then and then remembering our who we really are mm. because it's so easy to forget who we really are which is you know that we are spiritual beings and yes of course we have a physical body but you know we don't have to live in this constant state of stress and anxiety and problems and we can Mm. elevate our consciousness to rise above that Mm. and you know we we can so easily get swamped in it and Mm. stay there which I did for so many years Mm. and um you know and thankfully I I don't have to stay there anymore, but I, you know, mm. I've still had a, a huge reminder over the last few weeks and few months, mm. really, of you know, don't get too big for your boots, Mrs. Because you are still very <laughs> much, you. very much a physical being, you know, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and if you don't take care of that body, then it's not going to serve you, and um, Bless you. and so that <laughs> that's been a really good, um, you know, awakening for me. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. I think this life is, it's a journey, isn't it, that we're all on? It's huge. It's a huge journey. And it's a real blessing to be able to share it with somebody like you along the way, Angela. Um, because, <laughs> and you know, you it's too, so Mary. great. Thank you. Well, at this point, shall we, even though I don't want to, shall we head off for a quick break? <laughs> <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Have you been getting it up lately? You know what I mean. Inspiration. Join us right here on WGSN-DB, Going Solo Network, the singles internet talk station, for all your inspiration. Hello and welcome back to the Manifest Your Ideal Life show with me, Angela Kane, and my friend, Mary Tudor. And before the break, we were talking about the challenges that both Mary and I have been facing over the last weeks in the hope that that some of our listeners will have been facing challenges too and and in the hope that the way we've found of dealing with it 
may help you in in some way and and we've certainly had our fair share of challenges haven't we mary over the last few weeks we've had a good dollop yeah we've yeah. had a good dollop yeah and but the good thing is you know here we are this this morning chatting and laughing about it that saying that that Wayne Dyer said many years ago if you change the way you look at things the things you look at change always always pops into my consciousness whenever mm. I'm fixated on something even so much so as I was talking before the break of you know recently a couple of weeks ago we were on holiday in Lake Garden it was boiling hot and after I had done the meditation that I spoke mm. about when I was you know all pot and bothered and you know feeling very grumpy and mm. and the following day Mary there was a storm oh wow and everything cooled down <laughs> oh how funny is that I know and so you know there I was changing the way I was looking at things and, and the, the things changed. that I was looking at changed because instead of a you know burning sun it mm. was uh, rain yeah Storm and I never I, it was I'd never been so seen rain it's you know we we get lots of rain in the UK don't we yep. but um you know I was so happy to see that rain because I knew it would cool everything down and it did mm. fantastic fantastic it's so true isn't it that the way you look at something is an incredibly mm. powerful way to change what is in front of you and I think for me that is a real starting point the consciousness the awareness the understanding that that is a truth for me that I choose to live by, that I know yeah. that I have power within me to say whatever is happening for me, I still retain and will always retain a choice of how I choose yeah. to see something. Yeah. From the moment I'm born to the moment I die, that is yeah. my given choice. And amongst that, I think there is a choice which is incredibly important to explore when the challenges hit, which is how do I perceive myself when this challenge hits? Do I choose to perceive myself as a victim of circumstances? Mm. Or do I choose to perceive myself as someone who still feels empowered, still knows there is a bigger picture and can actually find a way to steer through it? Mm. And I think this is where manifestation comes into almost for me a second level of understanding because most of us come to manifestation with the understanding of oh yeah we've heard it's about you know you can get yourself a better job you can get yourself a better lover you can get yourself a better car you can get yourself mm. a better house it's all mm. about those gains whereas actually I think another level of manifestation is about saying when the chips are down mm. how do you start to move yourself back into the flow of life back into the stream which says oh life's getting easy again because mm. it has to get rocky and bumpy in order for us to grow so for yes, me that bit yeah. about yeah yeah that bit about coming into manifestation isn't all about just saying i'm waiting for the bunch of roses or i'm waiting for the new house yeah. or the new furniture manifestation mm. is very much about saying when it's tricky can i remember that I am able to shift my reality simply by shifting my perspective. Mm. And I might be so with my back against the wall, seemingly, mm. that my only option is to say, but I remember that I can shift my perspective. And in remembering in that moment, I have already changed myself from being a potential victim of circumstance mm. into a woman who's going but I remember and mm. I can make a shift and a difference. And I think then for me probably the next stage is to go, do I think I've got to do all the solution to this problem myself? Which I got both hands up and say, in the past I was a real fixer. In this last couple of weeks, one of the big learnings for me has been, have you remembered, Mary, that when the problem arrives, the only thing you have to do is shift your energy and know that there are other forces around which can make things happen for you. Astonishing synchronicities for me 
I have the good fortune to live right opposite the most beautiful St. Michael's Mount here in the UK. And for those who don't know, it's, it's a tidal island with a castle on the top. And it's one of my great places that I adore. Through mm. physical trickiness, I've not been able to get out and about and go there of late. Mm. And yet, the day before yesterday, a laughable set of synchronicities, which I could never, ever, ever have joined up, happened to get me into a boat onto that island harbour, going wow. round the harbour and back again. And it was just such a fantastic reminder for me. Keep putting the energy out of, this is what I'd like. Yeah. I can't solve that on my own, but yeah. that's what I'd like. And then to sit and imagine, oh, that'd be great. I can just feel myself on the boat with the wind yeah. in my face and the sun on my skin and laughing because of yeah. the utter magic of it. And by the time I came back from that trip, my phrase was, I absolutely believe in magic because mm. it was a stunning experience yeah. in amongst a whole heap of challenges that I, in my humanness, was not able to get over mm. but in my asking for help and support and I think this is now my big number two building block is number one awareness consciousness choose to change number two building block for me is to say hmm ask for help please because there's a yeah. lot of big energy out there yeah. there's energy that creates worlds out there do mm. ask for it to support you and I asking think it's, it's given, Mary. Asking, asking it's given. it is given. Asking it is given. That is the big thing, Angela, because it's not ask and go, well, where's my stuff? Yeah. It's ask and know. So ask and say, thank you. I yeah. know that's on its way. Thank mm -hmm. you. I know that in some way that will be solved for me. Yeah. yeah. And Just open yourself up, isn't it? Opening, opening yourself, yourself up yeah. to receive it. And I think yeah. that's what most yeah. of us don't do. That's where, the hardest part, I think. Yeah. And for me, what pops up when I say, well, why am I not receiving that? And then up pops all my little um, list of oh, unworthiness. And you go, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Nice of you to call. Let's have a re-look at this. Where are you now? What mm. is the difference between me making an astonishing shift and change in my life and any other person on the planet? We all Absolutely. come from the same source of energy. We do. So what is the difference? And that for me is a great question to kind of put towards myself if I might be in that wobbly phase and stage is to go, actually, what's the difference? And you go, yeah. well, this, 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 that, the other. And you come down to saying, this vibrational is the energy. So yeah. if I want to be a well person, I need to start speaking, behaving, telling my story as a well person. Mm. Mm. And a lovely little one I've come across recently, Angela, which I am practicing, is if somebody says to me, how are you? Or how are things with you? Something like that. My first thing to think is, what is going right for me? Because yeah. I want to speak about what is going right for me. Mm. Because as we know, with manifestation... The words we speak yeah. is the energy that we give out. Absolutely. It yeah. only takes 68 seconds mm. for us to get a pull of same, same energy coming in. Mm. So if somebody says, hey, Mary, how are things going for you? And I start with, well, you know, this happened and yeah. actually that's happened as well. And da, da, da. I've mm. dragged my energy right down. Yeah. Whereas if I go, yeah. well, actually, do you know, just now I got a phone call from a friend that I've been waiting to hear from for ages. Mm. And I choose to find one little bit that says, I'm feeling good in that one little bit. Mm. And then we start the wheel to move on through. Mm. We do. Astonishing stuff. We gain that momentum then, Mary, don't we? On the mm. upward slope instead of the downward one. And that's yeah. very important yeah. because once you're far down, yeah. it's much harder to it pull it back up. It's much harder to pull it mm. back up. Um, however, it is not impossible. We are no, never so far not. down that we cannot pull it back with awareness, a conscious decision to choose to change, yeah. and an asking for support, mm. and to be shown how to change. So if we think of most people's 
issues might be around health, they might be around money, they might be around employment, yeah. they might be around relationships with partners and what have you. And my sense well, those is... Those are the three biggies, aren't they? They're the big ones, yeah. aren't they? And my sense yeah. is that yes, when we me. want to make a shift, we need to start having the commitment to mm. making a change in ourselves. Mm. We can't just sit there and say, well, when I'm well, I'll be happy. No. Or when I've got a million dollars in my bank account, then I'll be happy. Mm. It's a bit about saying, start thinking about how might you start to behave like a wealthy person behaves? Absolutely. How, how you might you start to, be to behave it, like it? Yet yeah, you, you have yeah. to be it. Yeah. Because then your vibration is matching your desire and when your vibration matches your desire mm. hey presto it materializes it materializes yeah bingo well and that's done. it really in a nutshell mm. isn't it mary we don't yeah. get what we want in life we get mm. what we are yes yeah absolutely that's yeah. what comes back to us it does boomerang effect in life yeah yeah, yeah. as i resonate so i pull in absolutely yeah. and that is why I think when we are faced with challenges, sometimes we go, excuse me, I thought I dealt with that before. Mm. But it's bringing up for us the stuff that still needs to be cleared so that we can resonate as we want to in order to bring in the desires. So it's not about, oh, I wish this bad stuff wouldn't start happening. It's like, okay, there's some bad stuff happening. So I'm going to welcome it in. And I'm going to use my abilities to turn it, to shift it, to transmute it, to change it, because it's only energy. And then, as you say, you're resonating with what you want to bring in, and away you go. So, yeah, lovely stuff, Angela. Yes, I could mm. chat all day, Mary, but unfortunately, we've, we've reached the end of our time, haven't we, oh. together? So, thank you so much to everyone that's listening. I do hope that you have found some small nugget of information that we've shared this morning useful and uh, perhaps a, a comparison that you could use in your own life with the challenges that you're facing right now. Perhaps is there another way you could look at that? And I think it, the main thing I realize for me is just about not fighting it, but just mm -hmm. accepting it and then looking for could be the lesson from this what can I learn from this mm. and there is a blessing in everything if we just mm. look for it there always always is it might not seem like it when you're right in the middle of it <laughs> but afterwards there always is and you will always find it so thank mm. you so much for joining us everyone and thank you Mary for a scintillating conversation as always great to be here and we hope you'll join us again next time on the Manifest Your Ideal Life show. So you've been listening to WGSNDB on the Going Solo Network. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we will catch you next time. Bye for now. WGSNDB, the Going Solo Network presents with Transformational Life Coach, 